For cleaning the shear valve you need distilled water, two pieces of soft clove, a pair of tweezers, a toothpick or a similar blunt object. As the shear valve is in contact with sample blood, it is mandatory to wear gloves. To initiate the process, go to the menu, select maintenance and then select shear valve cleaning. Confirm that the cleaning should start. The shear valve will get emptied. This process is going to take a while. Wait until you hear the signal before taking further steps. Do not press OK until the shear valve is fully reassembled. There are two important screws at the shear valve, the closing screw and the milled edge screw. Loosen the milled edge screw. and push the latch left. Remove the shear valve by gently pulling it towards you. Unscrew the closing screw and pull it off.
Slide the two discs apart carefully. Take a dry cloth and dry the surface of each disc. Dampen the second cloth with water and clean the two discs. Clean the housing of a shear valve. If necessary, use the tweezers to hold the clove. If required, use a toothpick to clean narrow spaces. Put the two discs together. Turn the upper disc so that the grooves are aligned as shown in the video. Take the closing screw and push it back into the center. Make sure that the joggle of the end of a closing screw is positioned against the joggle of the lower disc inside. Here you can see the proper positioning of the closing screw.
The small gap between the upper disc and the closing screw indicates an incorrect positioning. There are two metal pins on the shear valve. The longer one must point towards the analyzer. Make sure to drive this longer pin into the opening on the receiving part. Gently slide the assembled shear valve back into the rails. Be careful not to hit or break the black opto sensors. Push the latch back. Tighten the milled edge screw. As you can see, there is no gap between the flat section and the right side wall of a shear valve rail unit. The small gap between the disc and the housing can result in a malfunctioning of a shear valve and has to be avoided. To finish the process, click on OK. The system will check whether the shear valve is assembled correctly. This may take a short while.